travel? So we're getting ready to box up our stuff. I'm here with Jeff from Jethro uh, 40, 48. 48. 48 Jethro 79. So uh, we're just getting ready to uh, put away our model. I'm here with Brian. He's so much taller than me, so I have to lift the phone up. You want me on my knees? We have to put away our uh, model kits and uh, get ready to go. Put them away, home. getting ready to go home. Yep. Get See you, everyone. See you, bye. Hello, dude. I'm here with the great Fred Henry. <laughs> Money checks, checks in the mail, Dave. <laughs> and and that skip lurking in the back. Yep, skip a medic, bugger. Where'd you ten have? I had a great time at Jack's Con. Both that we did. Right We're here. glad to have you down here. And did you get uh, plenty of Publix chicken last night? I sure did. Great, it awesome. delicious. So I'm here at Jack's Con with Skip and Skip Maddox. We're just hanging out, waiting for the I guess award presentation. I'm here at Jack's Con. We're nearing the end. I'm here with Rick. Hey, and Cletus, and Cletus, and Tom, <laughs> Rambo 69. Yep. So we're at the end. I'm here with uh, Rick. Rick, hey, buddy. say hi. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for the skeleton. Yeah, you got it, buddy. All right, everybody. So it is Saturday night right after JaxCon. I'm preparing to fly back tomorrow. And just want to show you guys what I picked up at uh, Jack's Con. So I picked up this Tom Daniels Street Fighter, which is the same kit as Quicksilver and Bad Actor. I believe it's a 1960 Chevy sedan delivery. Um, I think the Quicksilver was the one that has the glass panel over here instead of the sunroof. But basically it's the same design. Um, not so hot about these decals but that's fine i mean the model kit itself uh i like the 1960 chevy stand delivery picked it up for ten dollars so that's a great price also matt actually highly recommends this 69 hearse olds so i bought the three in one which includes the um 69 plymouth barracuda and the Ford torino um, I end up picking it up for $25. I think he was asking $30. So, looks like at one time I made, they might have been asking for $35. Anyway, so the prices are great, but you know if you don't drive there, you're going to be limited to what you can buy. Because if you end up sending it back, then you have to pay for postage and everything. And of course, you guys already seen the Ollie's um, purchase, the Diamond Rio. And of course, thanks to Rick Vink for... Uh, the skeleton guy, I did not go to Acme, so I did not get one, but I finally have one now. Overall, I had a great time at JaxCon. It was my first plastic scale model show. I enjoyed entering my models into the contest and seeing it on the table along with everyone else. I was a little intimidated pulling it out because um, everyone else's model was just so high um highly detailed and such high quality but it was fun just to you know go through it it would have been great to win something but um i did not which is fine you know just to enter and to support the um the show was good enough you know at least everyone contributes a little by offering something on the table so that people who come have something to look at or else then it would just be one or three kits per category the gold silver and bronze um, but overall, I had a great time, you know, and I think um, the main reason why is basically the socializing aspect of it, you know, meeting everyone that I converse with on YouTube, and um, I don't want to forget anyone's names, so everyone I met, you know, you, you know who you are, and I had a great time meeting everyone, and hope to see everyone uh, very soon, so um, I highly recommend everyone to at least check out a uh, scale model show um, especially if it's close to you so uh, I had fun and um, catch you guys soon